Hello everyone, this is R. Partha Saradi. I am working as an assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering in Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. So today we discuss structural analysis topic, introduction to structural analysis. So a static equilibrium, what is static equilibrium? A structure or a system of the particles is in static equilibrium when all the particles of the system at rest and the total forces on each particle is permanently zero. Then only we can able to call it static equilibrium condition state and structures. So this static equilibrium of the structures again classified into the indeterminate structure and statically determinate structures. So a statically determinate structure is that a member or a structure that can be analyzed and the reactions and the forces that is determined from the available equilibrium equation conditions that is called a statically determinate structures. So statically indeterminate structure means we cannot able to justify, we cannot able to analyze available equilibrium conditions that is called as a statically indeterminate structures. So in the statically indeterminate structure, again, we can call its determinacy. Yes, a determinacy means R that is a reaction of the support is equal to 3 into N. N means number of the members are available in the structures. That is called as a statically determinate. That is equal to R. Uh, we cannot able to analyze this. Then R, the reaction is exceeded whether the number of members into 3. That is called a statically indeterminate structures. Where N is equal to total number of the parts. Or the members R is equal to the total number of the unknown reactive forces. It depends upon the reactions or the support conditions and the members. So in this state, uh, so few examples are enclosed here that is statically determinate and statically indeterminate the in order to uh, second order degree and third order degree. So in this uh, structures, uh, so here uh, support conditions hinged and rolled support. So the reaction is equal to a hinged support. We have, uh, you can see, uh, we have a uh, two number of the reactions are uh, possible, whether it is a pinned or hinged support, which one is a vertical reaction. Another one is a yeah, horizontal reaction, whether it is be uh, positive or the negative. So in uh, another support is a roll order support. Only one reactions are possible to transfer the forces. So whether we have a formula R is equal to 3, then N is equal to 1. So already we know that uh, formula. Okay, R is equal to 3 into N. So R means it's the number of reactions 3. That is equal to 3 into number of members is always 1. So we can, uh, members are 3 is equal to 3, that is equivalent structures. So we call it is a statically determinate structure. And second condition is a 1 left hand support is a fixed support. And support number 2 is a roller support. Support number 3 is also a roller support. So in this uh, free body diagram says that a fixed support is transferred the 3 number of the force, okay, reactions. One is a vertical reaction, another one is a horizontal reaction, third one it is a moment, it depends upon the given load. So in the fixed support, three reactions are possible. And the roller support again, it is a one reaction. Again, the roller support, it is a one reaction. That is end of the support. So already we know the same formula. R is equal to 5. 5 means it is a number of available reaction. It depends upon the support conditions. N is equal to number of member is always 1 because of it is only 1 deal. So we can apply the formula and get a value is 2. After applying the equation, uh, that is a uh, equation is a 2. 5 minus 3, it is 2. So it is called as a statically indeterminate structures in order to second degree. So in third examples, it is also a yeah, uh, support condition it is a yeah, fixed with roller support and second support is a hinged support the third one it is a yeah, hinged support okay so in this case a yeah, fixed support same uh, but it's a roller that is equal to zero okay so two reactions are available in the uh, starting of uh, beam the supports and the hinged support here it is a yeah, two number of reactions again it is a yeah, member number one and member number two the both reactions are common and end of the support it is a hinged support again it is a yeah, two number of the uh, reactions are available. So we have a formula same R is equal to six, six number of reactions as per that says three body diagram. N is equal to two because of a two number of the beams are available in these structures. Okay. But three number of supports are available. So only we can justify it is called as a two number of the members. So uh, after the application of this formula, we can uh, answer statically determinate structure of this beam.
in this uh, redundant structure the excess of member or the excess of reactions of an indeterminate structures are called as a redundant member so the redundant forces are chosen so that the structure is stable and statically determinate when they are removed in we can modify the support condition we can modify the load cases also so we can converting to satisfy the structure whether to be of statically indeterminate to statically determinate it depends upon the forces reactions that's all so for example of this called as a redundant structures a non redundant structure is a the structures are usually designed with redundant parts as well as that ensuring that one part or the file so entire structure will not collapse okay that is called as non redundant structure a structure without redundancy is called as a fracture critical meaning that the single broken component can be causes the collapse of the structure so comparison between the uh, statically determinate structure and statically indeterminate structures so first one equilibrium conditions are fully adequate to analyze the structure whether it is determinate the same one the equilibrium condition is not adequate we can be that means we cannot able to analyze okay that is called as the indeterminate structures and uh, comparison between the uh, two structures in second point the bending moment and the shear forces at any section is independent of the material property of the structures that indeterminate section means the bending moment and the shear forces at any section is depends upon the material property and third one is a temperature vibrations are variations are to not cause us in the structures the temperature variations are caused in the structures fourth one is a no stresses are caused in lack of fit but the stresses are caused due to the lack of fit in the determinate structures so in pin jointed plane frame and rigid jointed plane frame the comparison is number one the joints permit changes of angle between the connected members and rigid jointed plane frame is the members are connected at the rigid joint with maintain the angle between the members even under the deformation due to the load condition and comparison number 2 the joints are incapable of the transferring of any moment in the forces to the connected members and vice versa but the rigid jointed plane frame is that transmit the all the both forces the moments between the themselves through the joints and comparison number 3 the pins transmit forces between the connected members by developing shears but the rigid jointed plane frame is a provisions of the rigid joints normally increases the redundancy of the structures so a basic requirements to be satisfied by analysis are the structures so one is the equilibrium conditions definitely needed compatibility condition is needed and force displacement conditions these are the three basic requirement conditions definitely needed to analyzing a structure so equilibrium conditions already you are very well like a summation of all the forces to the of x direction is always zero summation of all the forces to the y direction is always zero summation of all the forces is that direction is always zero okay similar to the summation of moment to the x direction is equal to zero summation of moment to the y direction is equal to zero summation of the moment to the x z direction is equal to zero so this is equilibrium conditions thank you thanks for watching this video